Hey everyone, the infamous Joe G here, and I just created a video for work, but I wanted to share it with everyone because it's covering a new feature available in Conjure Cloud today uh, called Dynamic Secrets. In this particular video, we're gonna be looking at Dynamic Secrets for AWS. I'm gonna be focusing on uh, utilizing a Federation token, but we do also support IAM role assumption and I'm gonna be using this dynamic secret in Jenkins to trigger a job in Terraform. And we're not gonna leak any secrets anywhere, so hold on to your seats and join me for the journey, and I'll see you at the end to wrap things up. One of the newest features of CyberArk's Conjure Cloud Secrets Manager is the ability to utilize dynamic secrets in order to establish short-lived, just-in-time authentication to cloud service providers such as Amazon Web Services. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how we can utilize a dynamic secret to connect to Amazon Web Services utilizing Terraform in order to report back the instance IDs of all instances running into my AWS environment. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kick off this pipeline to get built. And what's going to happen here is this pipeline is going to install Terraform. It's going to create a quick Terraform manifest for us, init Terraform, install any of the providers that we need to utilize, validate that the syntax in my manifest is correct, plan the deployment, and then apply that deployment. Once this completes, we'll be able to take a look at the logs for the Terraform apply action, and we should get back the instance IDs of running instances in my environment. And we can see here that we have done so. And we've done so by providing a dynamic secret as a TF var that is utilized in the manifest in order to connect just in time to my Amazon Web Services account to get this information. Let's take a look at how easy it is to configure Dynamic Secrets for Conjure Cloud. Here is my Conjure Cloud service inside of my SaaS-based identity security platform tenant. If I go to issuers, this is where a list of all issuers that I've created of Dynamic Secrets is established. In my case, I have a single issuer for AWS and the maximum time to live on any Dynamic Secrets issued from this particular issuer is 900 seconds. That's all that it takes in order to get this established on top of the AWS Access Key ID and Access Key that we'll be using in order to establish this connection and create our session token. Under the Resources section of Conjure Cloud, I do have a secret resource created here that is listed as dynamic, and it's created within the data dynamic branch within Conjure Cloud. Any secrets that are members of this branch are considered dynamic. There is a legacy branch of data ephemerals that can be ignored. Taking a look at our secret a little bit more in depth, you'll notice that we have some annotations down here that help to define how this resource can be accessed. In this case, when this dynamic secret is provided to Terraform by way of Jenkins, it's going to include an inline policy that allows us to describe EC2 instances within the particular region that we're going to authenticate to. It's going to get its dynamic secret issued by my AWS issuer, and the method is going to be federation token. We also support IAM role assumption, but for this example, we're gonna be sticking with the Federation token. So with all of this configured, we can utilize Jenkins in order to bring in that dynamic credentials ID by way of the Conjure Secrets plugin in Jenkins, and we can inspect it by going to the particular jobs credential store. This credential store is inheriting secrets from the dev team one folder, as we can see here, since it's a child of that, but it also has its own job specific secrets that only it can access, one of which is our dynamic 
secret f- that is provided from Conjure Cloud here. So let's take a look at the configuration of this pipeline since my pipeline script is set inside of the job configuration itself. So here we have our stages. Installing Terraform is pretty straightforward. I want to show you the creation of the Terraform manifest because what we're doing here is we're defining a variable for the dynamic secret and setting it as a type of string. And then we're going to take that TF var dynamic secret that was provided and we're going to decode the JSON of that dynamic secret and add it to a local variable called parsed result. And in the provider for AWS, we're going to take that parsed result local variable and we're going to utilize the access key ID, secret access key, and session token for these variables to establish the authenticated session for our provider. And then finally, create a data source that is filtered on the instance state name where all instances are considered running. And so that will provide us the instance IDs we can then output at the end of this manifest. So at no point are we going to unveil any of the secrets we're providing, and we're going to be utilizing that dynamic secret throughout. Finally, as we scroll down even further to the apply action, we'll see that we're running Terraform apply and providing that dynamic secret variable, uh, which in my case, in this particular stage, is defined as AWS dynamic secret. You can see that variable name is established through with credentials at the step level. And I'm using Conjure secret credential in order to reference the credentials ID we saw earlier in this video, assign it a variable name to utilize, and then we're using it in the script block here. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, the new feature in Conjure Cloud Dynamic Secrets for AWS. I'll come again with more Dynamic Secrets goodness in future videos. We've still got uh, quite a few to go through, but this is a, a, a constantly improving feature. So today we have it for AWS. Tomorrow it will be for more, and you can expect to have me back here posting those videos to share with you all of the goodness in Conjure Cloud, Central Credential Provider, and all of our identity security platform services. Until next time, stay secure.